May we have a word? Well, apparently not. Uh, each year at this time, the Oxford English Dictionary picks their word of the year. And after all we've been through this year, they cried uncle, admitting that it quickly became apparent that 2020 is not a year that could neatly be accommodated in one single word of the year. Though what was genuinely unprecedented this year was the hyperspeed at which the English speaking world amassed a new collective vocabulary relating to the coronavirus and how quickly it became, in many instances, a core part of the language. But not before other words which kept changing. In January, as Australia suffered its worst ever fire season, bushfire was big. As an impeached president survived a Senate removal vote, acquittal was everywhere. Then came the shutdown when we went into lockdown and social distancing mode and hoped for reopening. By June, George Floyd's death and other sad news propelled Black Lives Matter and cancel culture. By August, virus-wary voters were ready to mail in. And a controversial election there boosted the word Belarusian. In September, the UK coronavirus testing program was dubbed Moonshot. And a month later, when many Americans shut down fatigue to let our guard down, and as COVID spread within the White House, super spreader entered the lexicon. Last year's word of the year was climate change. And after the wacky weather we are still suffering and the wildfires that rage out of control in the West, climate change is not so last year.